Hello and welcome to a brief introduction to Pasty. Pasty is Pro's new translation companion app that allows professional translators to combine their human expertise with technological innovation. And I will explain what we mean by that in a second. First thing that you want to do is download the Pasty app from the link provided in the AI forum. And then from your download folder, you will want to open the installation file. And I am on a Mac with the M1 chip, so I need to drag the Pasty app over into my applications folder. Once I've done that, I can go to my applications. It's right here. And I'll open up the app. Because it's not downloaded from the App Store, it will ask me if I'm sure that I want to open it, and I do. And then we have a welcome screen. You can read this, then click Next, and it will ask me to set up my language pair. In my case, that is going to be English to German. Click OK. And there is my pasty window. A quick explanation to what the icons are and the different areas. I'll make this bigger. So up here we have the translate feature and then we have the AI chat feature. This toggle right here shows me that pasty is listening, meaning that whenever I perform these keyboard shortcuts, pasty will be listening in the background regardless of the application I am currently in. <clears throat> in this left large window, we will see the source text, and in the right window, we will see the target text. And if appropriate, I can add the document context just to help ChatGPT, in this case, to understand where my content is coming from. So what does Pasty do? Pasty establishes a connection to ChatGPT, you do not need your own ChatGPT license to use it. And if we look into the settings, we see that there is a prompt or additional instructions to the AI. Um, do not spell out what languages you're translating into. Only include the translation and nothing else. And don't translate abbreviations. Leave them as are. Um, and the main prompt is translate the following text to either source or target. Here I can choose to use the AI assistant. This only works after you have logged in, and I will show you in a second where you can do that. Or you can enter your own API key. And here you can select from different versions. ChatGPT 3.5 is the one that has a bit limited knowledge in terms of up-to-dateness. ChatGPT4 uses internet research, etc. For now, I'm going to leave it here and I'll just add OK. So let me make this a bit smaller again and I will show you exactly what we can do with Pasty. I'm going to start with a very non-work related scenario. So for that, I'm going to change this from Corsican to English because I don't speak Corsican, but sometimes I follow pages that show Corsican content. And so in this case, if I highlight this, and this is a good example because Facebook does not offer automatic translations for Corsican. If I highlight this and I press Command C, as you can see, I've reached my trial limit, so now I need to sign into my pros account. I will allow access. And then I can go back, hit Command C. And as you can see, my source is automatically entered into this window here. And here we have the English of the text that I copied. That is not too bad. At least I can understand the context. Great. Now I'm going to go back to show you how to use Pasty in your working environment. 
So I will switch again from English to German. I'll take this out. I've minimized my window a bit. Let's start with a regular Word document. I'm going to have to make this a little bit smaller. There we go. <clears throat> so in a regular text, you would go ahead and you can either highlight this entire bit, but note that it will not copy your formatting. So in this case, I would highlight first the title, hit Command C, and paste is thinking, and there it is. And now if I hit Command V, it will automatically put that translation to where I had highlighted the text. Now, please remember that AI is not inherently a good translator, so this is just about giving you a first draft. You would then have to go in and rework this. For this part, I'm just going to copy and paste everything. Command C. It's automatically taken into the source text window. The AI is thinking and it has translated my copy. And if I click Command V, I am automatically inserting the translation into my document. This also works in tables. And to work on my table, I'm going to shut off pasty for the moment because I'm going to use my copy and paste keys to work on this document. Here we have the same text in table format. What I'm going to do here is just copy it over into the second column. I will change here my designation. And then I can go back so that pasty is listening again. Highlight my text, hit copy, or rather command copy. And once the AI has generated the translation, I can just hit command V to insert it, command C, command V, and that is how I would proceed with the entire table. That's for your Word documents. I have also prepared something for WordFast because that is the translation tool that I work with. So what I would do here is I would go ahead and copy all sources. And then I would do the same thing. Command C and Command V. And then I would edit these segments and confirm them when I'm happy with the translation. So that's for the cat tool. And then I wanted to show you something else for Pasty, how you can use it. Since it is connected to ChatGPT, you can ask it questions. Um, in that case, the languages won't matter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to erase this and I'm going to click AI chat and I will ask it a question. How many days are there in a year? Enter. And it will answer me in the language that I use to ask my question. Or I can say, write a short social media post about International Translation Day. There we go. Two other things you can do here. If you click on the little magnifying glass, you can change the size of the text. You can see that down here on the right. And if you click on the keyboard down here, you can change the shortcut to command CC or STRGC in order to copy what it is you're doing if you don't want to turn the listening feature on and off as you work with different softwares. All right, that was it. That is how you install and use Pasty. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. There is a forum on pros.com where you can give us your feedback and ask your questions. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful and see you in the forum. Bye-bye.